Hey! So I'm finally making a new video. Um, I know it's been quite a while. I kind of forgot how to make videos, I guess. <laughs> I'm not too sure. But, so I'm using my old camera. Hopefully the lighting will be fine. I've put a new lamp here. So I'm not too sure if it will be good or not. And I thought that as you'd know by the title of the video, that I would just do kind of an easy video to ease back into YouTube because I know I was gone for quite a while, but hopefully now I can get back into the swing of making videos for you guys because I know that I've missed you all so, so much and I've been loving getting all the messages and comments and tweets and emails and so yeah, hopefully this will work out again. <laughs> so. I thought I would just do a quick fashion haul and everything like that. Um, if you have any kind of suggestions or tips you want to give me to how I should make my videos from now on, feel free to leave a comment below. Hopefully the lighting will be fine. If not, I'll have to kind of adjust it for my next video. So hopefully it's not going to be too bad. So the first thing which I will show you, which I've purchased recently, is this pass and it's just a kind of turquoise blue and then it has a, a laser cut design print with overlaid over a gold shiny material so I think it's just a very interesting unique design I got it from Dottie and it was only $6.5.95 to be exact and it's just a zip open and I really like these wallets so if you remember my last wallet was this pink one with the big flower I got this from Forever New almost over a year ago now and I just really liked that it was this in a zip so hopefully the blue one will also work so I got that from Dottie so if you're looking for a new purse I definitely recommend um, checking out kind of Tempt Valley Girl for a new Dottie they all have really nice ones now so and yeah um next thing I will just quickly go on to shoes so I'm not too sure what I showed in my last video because it's been quite a while so I thought I'd just do an overall kind of video so I really like these kind of canvas shoes. I was actually looking in particular for a lilac or a mint colour. Unfortunately I wasn't able to find any so I just purchased a normal black pair. This was from Target and so I think that they're around $8 or so. So they're not too expensive and they're really comfortable for everyday wear. If you would know where I could get a pair of lilac or mint ones, feel free to let me know because I definitely, definitely want them. I've been searching everywhere. I haven't been able to find any shops with it. I even looked into the kids sections of Target and Kmart and they didn't have any so not too sure. And then these are the nude heels. These were from Betts. I got them on sale for I think 50 or $60 and I think that they're still around the same price. And I just got the open toe peep toe and I think the heel is 11 centimeters. I'm not too sure but they're just really kind of nice going out shoes. And then for more of a comfy I got a nude wedge from Novo and I got these when I had a friends and family 30% of voucher they just emailed me so if you sign up for the website I think that they email you them or else you can also just look on blogs and I think various blog users post the vouchers I think when I got mine I posted it as well so yeah and they're, they're just really comfy to walk in and they're also really cute with like sundresses and it's perfect for I guess um, all the countries that are going into spring to America and I know that we're currently going into is it autumn winter but I think it will still be really nice and comfortable to wear in the kind of cooler months and then this t-shirt was from Chica Booty so it's a pretty cool store I have to say some of the things aren't too nice but you can find some really nice things in there and I really like this one just for the pop of color because it was a nice bright orange with Con contrasted against a real royal blue and the stripes just look really cute and also the Peter Pan collar was a style that I really really enjoyed and I still really do like it and it's just a very comfortable top so that was this top um, and then let's pop that there this play suit was from Forever New it's just a really pretty floral print as you know I love my floral prints and I still do and I really like the delicate, um, kind of vintage inspired clothing pieces. And then this one just has a really kind of nice sweetheart neckline. It's bounded in 
and then it just flares towards the bottom so it's a very comfortable play suit. The only thing is this is a size 6 and I probably should have got a size 8 because it's just a little bit short on the lengthwise on the bottom but it's still pretty comfortable and it looks very very cute on so I definitely recommend that for just probably the warmer months but you can also wear it in the cooler months with um, stockings or leggings underneath. Um, and then this one is from Chica Booty once again and then I bought this one for the Peter Pan collar. It's just a navy dark blue with a white Peter Pan collar with gold buttons and it came with a brown plated belt. It's um, pretty modest length, it goes down to the knees and I thought it's just very very cute. So that's that dress and then I'll try going through this a little bit quicker. Forever New off the shoulder dusty rose pink leotard it looks very cute with denim jeans with bandage skirts um, even high waisted shorts like the ones I'm wearing now which then reminds me the singlet is from Supre I really really like their singlets I think that they fit really well I buy an extra small usually I'm about a size 6 8 Australian and a small but I buy the extra small just to get it fitting really nicely I think the white one looks really really nice so I got that from Supre and then this pink and white strapped one is also from Supre. The, I'm not a very big fan of the clothing store because I do find the clothes fall apart pretty quickly. But I definitely love their singlets. Just I think it has a really nice kind of boat neck. And it, I don't know, it's not like other singlets when a singlet kind of falls too low or it's just not in thick enough straps. It's just very, very comfortable. And I feel like it's good support. So I have one in the pink and white stripes and I also purchased one in oh falling I also purchased one in a tan nude colour as you can see and then the last one is in a lilac colour because I have been loving lilac y colours. Um keep saying um <laughs> this white t shirt so I've been loving, absolutely loving white t-shirts, tops, singlets. I think that especially when you have a tan it just brings out that tan. So and this t-shirt style, just the cut and everything, it's from Dottie. I definitely recommend trying them out. I think they have usually it's two for twenty t-shirts or two for thirty. So you get end up getting a t-shirt for around ten or fifteen dollars. And this one is just a basic white t-shirt. It's a scoop neck, round neck tee and I find that it just fits really, really well. The sleeves are really comfortable they come down to around there because some t-shirts I find they have too long sleeves or they're too baggy this one just sits really comfortably so and I'm an extra small in the dotty t-shirt so that's from there and then for sportswear because I received a couple comments about where I recommend to buy sportswear so you can definitely go to Lorna Jane and all those types of expensive um, specialized sports stores however because I only really do my ballet which I don't really need too much of kind of exercise wear. So I bought these from Target and I find that they are perfect, they do the job very very well, they look really nice on. I've had lots of compliments so I think that they do just a great job. I think these ones were 15 or 20 dollars and it's just a black with hot pink band around the top and they're just really comfortable. So if you're looking for an inexpensive alternative to sportswear you can definitely try that. Um, second last thing or third last thing is a royal blue bandage skirt from Tempt and I just got it in a size small. I probably should have got it in a size extra small. I find it's a little bit long so I probably wouldn't purchase any other colours from them but um, it's just a knitted one and I wasn't able to find a knitted royal blue skirt anywhere else and plus I think it was under ten dollars so a very good buy if you're looking to kind of do your um, what is it, trends on a budget? Because I know that, you know, trends only last one season and then there's no point in spending too much money on one trend if you're going to be using it a couple times during that season. Um, and then Skull Scarf, it's, a, I found on eBay, I think it's inspired by the Alexander McQueen, obviously not a real one. I don't know if I'll wear it, but I thought I'd buy it. It was only a couple dollars, so, I don't know. I'm not really into wearing scuffs, but hopefully I'll start. And then this will probably have to be my most favourite purchase ever. Um, 
If you follow me on Twitter, a couple of days ago I posted a jumper off, it had a little deer and it was from Dottie. It's called the Daydreaming Deer Jumper and it's the most adorable jumper ever. And then I went in today hoping to buy that jumper. They didn't have my size in that jumper. I found this in the sale section and I fell in love with it. It's a little owl printed a brown owl with a red nose on a striped base. I thought that it just looked a lot more kind of colour poppy compared to the grey monotone deer. And then this one was on sale from $49.95 to $39.95, which you can probably see by the big yellow tag on the sleeve. And I got it in a small, I was hoping to get an extra small, they didn't have my size in an extra small, but I think because it's also going to be winter and you'd be layering it so it should be okay. And I'll just pop in two pictures now of what the um, deer jumper looks like compared to this one and then you can tell me which one you think is cuter. I'll definitely still want to get the deer one, but hopefully when it goes on sale, I'll get it because right now it's $50 and I know that Dottie always reduces their prices. So hopefully it will come on sale and then hopefully I can buy the deer one. And then the last thing was from JB Hi-Fi. I bought an Iron Maiden t-shirt. I haven't even opened it yet, but it's in a size small and I think it was $7.95 with free shipping. So it was a very good deal and I just needed kind of... Um, kind of grungy type t-shirts to pair with destroyed high-waisted denim shorts. I think that that's just a very kind of different, unique look and also just looks really nice well and put together when you don't really want to try too hard. And then the last thing would be these shorts. I got them from Bardo and they were on sale for I think $20, $30 and they're just really, really comfortable. They're high-waisted. I've got them in a size 6 and they are very modest length. They're not too short but they're short shorts. So I really, really like them. So that was my, I guess, oh, last thing. I keep forgetting things. I'm so out of tune with this. Um, the last two things. So the second last thing, Ray-Ban sunglasses. I finally, finally got my pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. I was looking for a pair for so long I couldn't find a style that I liked. So I just ended up getting the normal, um, what are they, brown gradient on a gold frame sunglass. So they're just the standard Ray-Ban ones. Um, I find that the, that style just suits my face very well and they're comfortable. So, And then the last one is this bag. So I was looking for a uni bag for such a long time and I couldn't find one anywhere so hopefully this will be helpful because I know lots of people are going back to school or you're currently looking for bags. I found this one in Valley Girl. Not the best quality. I only had it for a couple of weeks and it's already broken from the um, clasp here. But that was probably my fault because I kept playing with it but it was only $20 so I guess you can't really complain and it's just a really nice for the price I think that it looks really nice it's a black leather bag it slouches in all the right places you've got your two handles you've also got an extra strap so you can take it as a shorter bag if you want and it's just a really kind of handy bag I guess perfect for uni and for the price and for a student student you can't complain so they were my quick um I guess whole style video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll be back with a new video, maybe an inspired tutorial, hair tutorial or even maybe a fashion video. I'm not too sure. If you have any requests, let me know. Um, and yeah, so thank you all for watching. Thank you all for welcoming, welcoming me back to YouTube and I really hope you guys enjoy. Bye.